Good design is like good ideas. They are timeless. Technology changes, everything changes, but the essence of good things never do. You look at the history of art architecture, it's a lot of new thought processes, reinvention, but new techniques or new developments at technology. But ultimately, it's about a, you know, conveying emotion and storytelling. The more remote your inspiration is, the better. When you're inspired by pre-Columbian art, <laughs> you, can't, you can't knock it off. You don't have the means. So you can only get a concept or, or an idea or something and, and do something original with it. What you do with a particular object might be different than what somebody else does with a particular object and it's sort of what you put it with and how you utilize it that makes it unique and makes it personal. The biggest challenge is how do you make these older uh, designs, the architecture, the, the cars, the homes, how do you make that kind of accessible to a newer generation? When you think about uh, something that's been used in antiquity, you can yeah. reinterpret it with new materials or you know you can kind of yeah. juxtapose it with other kinds of pieces, it kind of gives it a freshness. I have a sort of natural tendency to mess with things. I'm not somebody who's like grounded in tradition mm -hmm. and I'm always sort of aware of like, oh, am I, I'm not offending anybody, am I, or, although I, you know, sometimes I like to do that and it's fun, but there's something really, really amazing about taking something that just looks like it needs a, a facelift mm -hmm. and, and doing something with it. There's, there's sort of a tendency to look at architecture in terms of image and form and materials, but, but there's also the chance to, the opportunity to think more about architectural space and the capacity of space to be really inventive. In the case of Falling Water, we're trying to connect people with what is really a really iconic building. To do that, uh, we have to make some changes to make it available to people. And our goal, of course, is to continue to allow the house to sing. Part of what I think we're all about in terms of educating the public, about preservation, about new design, these influential designers created these houses and they inspire and continue to inspire. We admire artists. We think artists' houses are interesting but because they're personal. In this mass culture in which government and industry both want us to be even more sheep-like than we are, our prime need is to reassert our individuality, to be different than the neighbors, to be ourselves, whatever that is, and to grow into being real people.